everyone have a good weekend? Welcome back to the Fellas Studios Vlogs, where we take you behind the scenes and show you what actually happens at a podcast production company run by two YouTubers. Before we get into this week's episode, I have a very important plea to make. I need you to help me get the Fella Studios YouTube channel to 100k subs by May. That's 100k by May. Or I'll be sacked. And this is coming from Freezy himself. We only do plaque numbers around here. So 50k, great start. I'm happy, but I'm not delighted. We need to be seeing 100k up on this. And you know what? If you can get this to 100k, you can keep your job. How about that? So that's 100k by May or I'm gone. Well, when you say it like that, it sounds a, <laughs> it sounds a bit brutal, but I don't know why you're still standing here. You got you got like 50k for something again. So, hashtag save my job 100k or there will be no more vlogs. The power is in your hands. When I sent you that video on, <laughs> what was it, Friday night? Friday night, no, Saturday night. What was your initial reaction? It was more like of just disappointment, or with a mix with humour. Because it's not, it could be worse. He's not going to get cancelled over wanking off his mate. But it's just slightly embarrassing for him. I thought it was funny, but also I just thought, poor bloke. I did feel for him a little bit that it has been leaked. You, felt, also, you felt him? I, I, no, I then wanked off my mate. <laughs> He's got rid of the stigma around wanking off your mate. And now, <laughs> now I can just go, mate, do, yeah. do you need a helping hand? Yeah. And we can do it as friends. Yeah. Yeah. As a company, it was all hands on deck at a, on a Saturday night because there was a very unfortunate video that was released. Let's cut this shit. Tom Garrett wanked off his mate five years ago in Tenerife. It was a joke, all right? It's funny, all right? It's funny. I personally wouldn't do it, but like, there's, it's fine, all right? It's, I, I enjoyed watching the video. <laughs> we didn't really know how bad this might be. There I was on a Saturday evening enjoying my Pizza Hut, chilling out, watching a bit of Top Gear, and I get a little message. It was actually from Prodigy. He sent me a link. And he said, oh no. I opened it and let me tell you, the one thing I didn't expect to see is uh, one of the core stars of Pitchside pleasuring his friend. People were uh, rinsing him and we were trying to figure out how do we deal with this? We have a stream in five hours time. We decided to go cold turkey and open the stream with the most awkward silence you have ever seen in your life. Everyone have a good weekend? Can you uh, toss me the remote quickly? <laughs> you toss it, yeah. I'll toss it. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I've just changed the channel. Ah. Tom, can you give me a hand? Yeah. Oh, with the remote? With the remote. Oh, yeah. okay, sorry. All I said to Theo before, I was like, you can't be quiet for long enough to like draw it, because he was the one who was going to break it whenever he felt like it. But like, he just started to slurp the, the slurp of the water was so effective. Like. <laughs> it was class, man. I have to give credit to Lewis um, and the Pitchside boys in general. They did a fantastic job of turning what could have been a pretty monstrous L into a pretty amazing W, I would say. The numbers for the stream were mental, okay? 8,000 people were waiting five minutes before we even went live. And Tom Gary, you have to give him credit. He's broke his arm for us. He's pleasured his friend for us. I mean, what else can this guy do? And to be fair to him, Tom took it as good as you can. I don't do that with my friends. Do I, guys? Do I, guys? 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 Okay. So who's got kudos here? I ain't got a kudos. Well, I don't think you can as the CEO. No, of course I can. I'm an employee. No, you're not. Yes, I am. You're the CEO. No, you're actually that, not. That is an employee. You're not an employee, though. You're a co-founder. So you're going to be like, I, you know what? Today's employee of the month is me. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> you're not. You're not. Okay. You're not. Okay. 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 You are one of the fellas. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I'm, I'm surprised you lot are struggling with the idea of what I'm saying. How much are you going to cost for a kudos? 
Mm-hmm. Someone just chuck me in there because 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 let's be honest, yeah. All I want to be able to say is, Chip, where's your cookie? What did you do to make us want no, to kudos think you? Think about all the happiness I bring to the office. I walk in, I got a smile on my face. Probably said that was one of my best traits. Do something that earns a kudos now. You can get a last minute nomination. I'll give you a last minute nomination. The month's still on. Go on, Archie. do what something you crazy. What do you want? Do something crazy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's got me twerking. Oh, I earned it. You have to do more than that. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Give me the kudos. It's kind of sad to see, isn't it? <laughs> Your own boss working for a kudos. Yo, Bailey, we got way back, man. You need a kudos. I ain't had one. I'm on my knees. You just don't. From who? Lewis. For twerking? It's just twerking for a kudos. <laughs> <laughs> nah, 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 you can't sell yourself out for a kudos. I've been grinding all month. I do two Fortnite dances to get kudos. <laughs> no, we can't be doing this work for kudos now. You're making a mockery out of the, out of the system. So, what are we wearing? This is my blazer. This Not is just cool. any blazer. Show them the goods. Producer. Oh, do you want to see my little trick? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna fall again, aren't I? What's the jacket for? Fill us in. Um, it's for when people don't do good things on tour and I go, whoa, producer, no, <laughs> don't mess with me. Oh, mate, I'm very excited. It's all coming together. It is all finally coming together. It looks and great. And all the merch is All of the merch is here. Mm-hmm. Key rings have arrived. We've got carrier bags, which is the most important thing. All the thing. stuff downstairs, you yeah. flooded the office the with office is SG merch. Just know that if it doesn't sell, it's <laughs> it, there's going to be a lot of just stuff, stuff here that we could never use again. And you'll never see me on the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Vanished into yeah. like a dark room. Yeah, dark corner. So like someone at that lift, yeah, someone okay. here, someone at the lift downstairs, right, right. someone at the back door, and then we, it's literally just instead of us carrying it one by we're one, just, it. just See, do it like yeah. that. And that's why you're, that's why you're the coup. Just don't have the thinking. Boxes. It's right. just avoiding the production lines. So you don't get things and carry them. You, you just, just you just push them to peer person. You stay in your spot. This is the production line, and we had to move all of GK Barry's tour merch from this studio here to Dave's van here. It was a treacherous journey that saw us navigate two floors of the building and a ride down in the lift before we headed past the bins and finally through the fire escape. This is one of the stupidest things I've ever seen. Yeah. Ride, pause. Hey. I've got a little belt on, so my trial's gonna fall yeah. out. Oh, the production line downstairs. You're being so unhelpful. <laughs> um, it's, I, don't know what, I don't know what I'm doing here, Sharon. You can come up with me no to get room. back from the office. Where am I going? <laughs> Where am I going? Why am I getting shouted at? Everyone's just bullying me. Every time, I came every to time help. the camera's on, you're never yeah. doing anything. I'm getting shouted. I needed the toilet. What are you doing, by the way? Look at it. Yeah, I, oh, I, am, I am working. Sorry. Yeah, also he's got to film a vlog, everyone. Once the heavy lift is out. I'm working, I'm working. While it might not look like I was doing very much, I was working. I'm filming, you know? It's my job to not help in these situations so that I'm always available to grab the camera in case something good is going down that's, that's worth filming. And at the end of the day, if I don't film, there's no vlog. And if there's no vlog, there's no screen time for you, Lewis, my pal. And isn't that a thought? There you go! <laughs> Come on! I'm working! Whoa, what's happening? This is very congested. It's not, it's not going well. Box traffic. Oh, Pick a box up! Fuck up! Can you know us who's not here? Proddy C. Oh, sorry, that's really you listen to this episode. He's that's not doing anything bullshit. Right now. You're not doing I'm anything. Done. <laughs> I'm doing content. I'm doing content. I can't do it. I can't do it. Working in a cycle. To be fair, you are head of motivation, so. I am. You need to get a haven. I've got a bad arm, boys. I've got a bad arm. Is this production line part two then? Production line part two, this is startup line. We are changing the hosts. Wait, 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 wait. These are signed. Keep by the S's away. The GK herself. Oh, I've got the sign. They say GK Barrel Penis. This is GK Baz. Nice. Oh, look at the camera's on. Now Hackney's joining in. 
now. Can I just say he's literally just come up in like the last two seconds? <laughs> I just finished my shift as production line manager downstairs. I'm just here to look busy. I don't know what's going on. But... You do look quite cool. Okay, he looks cool today. It's really cool. I like it. Doesn't look like Lewis in the middle. He does a little bit. Yeah, the t-shirt. Yeah. Wait, Alf. Wait, Lewis, stand next to Alfie. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> it's just anyone glasses are look like, innit? This is the last minute stresses of getting the show ready. It's fun. <laughs> fun. Um, okay, let's try and ramp the exposure lights a bit. First episode of the new Davi Girl show, so they're due in like 20 minutes, so we're trying to get like the last minute touches to the set and get all the lights and cameras and all set up. It has so much potential. I didn't realise how mad their fan base is, but they're literally so like it's literally like a cult. Big welcome to Joel and Sarah from Davi Girls. We just had our first recording of Davi Girls After Hours and it went so well. They came in and it was their first time seeing the like set reveal, so they were really, really happy with it, which we were obviously buzzing about. That looks incredible. Wow. Oh my lord. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is so How cool. How cool is this? Wait, who's gonna sit what side? Oh, look. Well, this is the first thing I've decided, who's taking which side? I'll oh, sit next to the WKD. <laughs> <laughs> I actually feel at home already. Like, it's like, it's well cosy, isn't it? That's really good. These guys have gone way beyond what we actually had in mind, like, so it actually just looks insane. Yeah, so who can help do my front row at home? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. who is responsible? We're going to start bringing in that extra service yeah. at the studio's yeah. home development. Joel was really happy with the, the fridge full of WKD and Sarah loved it as well. She loved all the colours. She was asking if there was anyone in here that could redecorate her living room, so... Good reviews all around. Are you excited to get the show on the road with the first episode? Yeah. I feel really nervous actually. She doesn't. She's like, I don't yeah. know why I don't. I just, I'm, like, I, I'm, I'm just excited. I feel I've been like, on podcasts as a guest, but I've never done your own. Done your own. Yeah. So it's, I feel it's like, so different. I think right? because it's you and me, I feel calm. We know how we balance with each other. We know, we know, but we just spent an hour and a half chatting the whole time. Yeah, we know how to talk. <laughs> yeah, but it's in. <laughs> that's that's what I'm no, yeah. but it's in. I don't doubt that we have stuff. things no. to talk about. After Hours is going to give them a chance to talk about sort of different topics that they wouldn't usually discuss on their YouTube channel. And it was really interesting to see the dynamic. They're also bringing in like viewer dilemmas. So they're going to talk through your problems, your issues, or whatever topics you th send in. So yeah, it's, it's definitely an exciting one. We can come here. Yeah. We actually get to spend some quality time exactly, together. Exactly, yeah, it's nice. Maybe yeah. flesh a few things out where she can't murder me if I say <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah. But I think that's the goal with the show as well, right? If we can get that, if we can get that feeling from you guys and you're enjoying being here, then the audience are gonna enjoy yeah. watching it because that's what they want to see from you, isn't it? It's like the extra stuff that they're not yeah. just on camera. So I should be able to any rowies are having, you just can ask the viewers and sort of yeah. find yeah. yeah. well, out who's in the right, who's in the right. It will always be Sarah. <laughs> Sarah's <laughs> always in the right. I'm always wrong. It was really interesting to see the dynamic, but at some points I was just kind of sat there as they were talking through the row they had that week in the background, like shit, just just want me to leave here. Really, was it? Yeah, yeah, they, they sweet up. It was, it was impressive. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Why are you in the corner? Because I don't want to reveal it. I don't want to reveal it. All right, employee of the month. This is going to be difficult to choose because you're all such good employees. Oh. That pain me. You don't get to choose, Jimmy. <laughs> I'm not choosing. No, no, no. No, don't worry, because there is an employee of the month right here. All right, okay, ladies and gentlemen, the first employee of the month at the Fellas Studios is none other than Kwame! Yeah. I'm not good at public speaking, <laughs> so can I just take it and just go back to work? <laughs> yeah. Didn't expect to win it at all. Um, Got a nifty little uh, photo that says Employee of the Month for January with a photo from a few months ago. I don't really know where to put it though because it's been sat in front of me for half an hour already and I'm just kind of staring at myself. And I got a little sash that says Employee of the Month. But yeah, I'm a happy, happy boy. Close one, eh? I think it was a landslide. Yeah. I think it was close. I think, I think he just about beat me. Should have been me. Should have been me. <laughs> Guys, it's the first day of tour. We're going to Nottingham. We're having to stop off in Grantham. Hope all is well, though. 
everything was really good yesterday, all went really smoothly. Um, I'm not talking too loudly because literally Grace's room's right next door, it's a bit weird. <laughs> and I'm just really, really pleased with everything. Um, well, we had such an amazing day. train, go home and I've got more editing to do. See you in the office.